Aveline. I owe you for clearing that ambush the other night. Saved me a mess of trouble. Brennan, that route was yours? It was. Single patrol. I'd have been dead for sure. So there was nothing unusual about it at all? It had been clear for weeks. It didn't get unusual until after we heard about you and Aveline. The captain reassigned me after he heard what you did, and I passed the satchel to Donick for his patrol tonight. The satchel? Pay and order assignments. Captain has us run deliveries to the outposts during light duty. It's usually just an updated copy of the roster. The satchel for that night was heavy, though. Anyway, thanks again, Aveline. You're a good one. So the satchel gets heavy the same day we discover an ambush? You're sure you want to pursue this? This is your superior we're talking about. If a guard has been put at risk, a good captain would want to know why. And if he's not a good captain, I want to know why. A messy way to pass information. And Brennan already sent it along. Another guard is walking into the same trap. I can't let that happen. Brennan said Donick. A good man. Donick, Donick. I've got his route. A night walk in Lowtown. Let's go make sure his quiet patrol stays that way. Day, sir. How can these nighttime streets be so dangerous? We should clear these idiot thugs out. just because it's dark. We can't waste time, Hawk. Guardsman Donick is here somewhere. Here, miss. Word is, you're looking for help. And paying well. I need someone native to the dark places beneath Lowtown. If you claim as much, yes, I will pay. I am, I am. Let's just step into this alley, and me and my fellows can have a look at the money on offer. Another sad Lowtown tale in the making. As if we needed another.
It does appear she could use some help, especially now. to the ambush. I'm not losing another guard to this. <laughs> Patrol and they came out of nowhere. I took a few down, but there were too many at once. The captain said this route was supposed to be quiet. The seal of the Viscount. Office details, city accounts. Valuable to a guild of thieves. A sacrificial delivery with one of our own. Captain Jevon will answer. Exposing this kind of corruption could make the guards look weak. Then we look weak. The others deserve better. This goes to the office of the Viscount. This will be known. The captain likes his thieves so much. Let's see if they welcome him in prison. Make it back to the barracks. Thank you for your help. For your timely intervention. I am out of my element. A foolish risk in Lowtown. I had to come here to get the type of person I need. Someone of bloody skill, but also integrity. Perhaps the kind who might leap to someone's defense. I have a charge who needs passage from the city. If you are willing and capable, meet me at my safe house nearby. You make a lot of assumptions. It almost got you killed already. All the more reason to end this quickly. You must need coin. Everyone here does. Varnell! A bloody Templar. Just what we need. I hope you will come. This matter only grows more urgent with time.
are you to talk to me like that? How dare you! I am Guard Captain! I won't be treated like this! Ferelden, bitch! This was none of your affair! I'll see you hanged! Quartered! This will not stand! We found a number of debts to suspect peoples. Such poor character. But you, Aveline Valen, have proven your loyalty and ability. The guard deserves better than him, Messer. Indeed. The Viscount would have you put your care for the men into direct practice. You will assume the captain's job. What? In due time, of course. There will be training, approvals, months at least. But who better to rebuild respect than the woman who exposed this embarrassment? Resolve any outstanding business, guardswoman. You will be very busy. Point the way, Hawk. much room in the barracks, but there's nowhere I'd rather be. I trust you are well, Donick. I am. And your reward is well earned. It will be grand having you over me. Uh, above me. In rank, Guard Captain. Thank you, Donick. It will be grand indeed. Varric, no. Well, you're the captain. Or you will be. It'll be easy. I'm not petitioning the Viscount to help you steal ownership of the Hanged Man. Steal? Madam, you wound me. I'm about to. Big changes are coming, huh? Captain of the Guard. Thank you, Wesley. That you keep his memory speaks well of him. He's not with me. I know that. Wesley's at the Maker's side, or he's not. Either way, he knows no pain. What I keep is that moment. I won't let anyone down like that again. I don't see how you can take the blame for the Darkspawn Horde. I put him to the sword myself, Hawk. At his behest? I know in my head that it was right. So did Wesley. But in my heart, that cut was cruel. You clearly miss Wesley, but that's not the issue. Of course I miss him, but he's not coming back. Pining like a child serves no one. So I remember him, but I let him rest. You're not so kind to yourself, though. No. Wesley's at the Maker's side, or he's not. What do you mean by that? Wesley believed, and if he was correct, then that's where he is. But this business of the less the Maker does, the more he's proven, I don't find it compelling. But you married a Templar. I married a man. A good one. And he's gone. I have heard the chant. It is lovely. Perhaps that's all it needs to be. I can't imagine the Captain of the Guard will like wandering in my shadow. It's not like this job means we're on opposite sides. The good you do? It seems rather appropriate. 
Besides, I'll be making the patrol schedule, and I don't intend to lead from a desk. I look forward to working with you, Guard Captain Aveline. Still strange, isn't it? Captain of the Guard. Thank you for helping me get here, Hawk. It's where I should be. Fine day, Sarab. The Guard will throw you out if you kick that wall one more time. I don't like some of the people you've been associated with. Greetings, Sarah. You look like a man who'd be interested in the finest Antivan steel to grace his hand. I bring only the best northern merchandise to the free marches. Actually, I'm more interested in your son. Son? I have never had that privilege, Sarah. My poor wife, she's back in Antiva and cannot see me often with my travels. That's the best you can do with a guard staring you in the face. Let us not ruin the day with such weighty thoughts. Perhaps I could show you my silks. We're not Templars, sir. Fenriel has nothing to fear from us. Maldithion, you are a mate. I suppose you'd be kind then to a boy who resists being taken in by Templars? Oh, sure. Like his family. The boy's in over his head. So I sent him to the only man I know who doesn't despise mages. A former Templar named Samson. Why would a Templar help him? His conscience plagues him, having served the Templars too long. He now helps mages on the run. He stays out of sight during the day. At night, he stays near Darktown. That's the best place to find him. My, my. If it isn't Hawk. Good to see you again, Elegant. Lady Elegant, if you don't mind. I'm a married woman now. Last time we met, you were still working for that brutish thug, Miran. Things have been going well since then? It isn't always easy, but things are going well enough. That's wonderful to hear. You may recall I supplied the Red Iron with potions. I'd be willing to extend you the same courtesy if you like. All I ask is you inform me of any interesting reagents you find. In exchange, I'll approach my contacts on your behalf. And of course you'll need the appropriate recipes, such as this one. Free, for old time's sake. Market I can afford, and I don't want a bloody thing. You want swords? I got swords. My favorite spot in the whole city. The taverns in Hightown are all owned by the Merchants Guild. So, here's the thing. We need to find a way into the Deep Roads. Bartrand can lead us to the right place once we're down there, but we need a good entrance. I've fought Darkspawn, but I've never been to the Deep Roads. Fortunately, I've received some new information. 
There's a Grey Warden in the city. If anyone knows how to get down there, it'll be him. Why would a Grey Warden know that? The Wardens don't just fight Darkspawn. They forge into the deep roads all the time. And if he doesn't know, he might be able to point us to those who do. Are there any other options? <sighs> None at the moment. Bartrand had an entrance lined up, but it was a bust. I'll keep looking, but if we don't find something, we'll have a fancy expedition with nowhere to go. We don't want trouble with the Grey Wardens, do we? Uh, let's look at our options first. I'd rather not fight a Warden unless we have to. Supposedly, this Grey Warden came in with some other Ferelden refugees not long ago. A Lowtown woman named Loreen has been helping the Ferelden's. We talk to her. Maybe we learn where he is. I'll keep after my contacts, see if I can drum up any other work. The estate better be worth the trouble. How good could it be? Mother wasn't in a hurry to come back before the darkspawn. Stop looking at me. What's your issue now, little hawk? Don't call... Just don't, all right? You're looking for fodder for your stories. Do you think you're that interesting? I have enough trouble being overshadowed as it is. I don't need to get caught under an imaginary me, too. Don't you worry. I'm not in the business of lullabies or children's stories. Tom Wise? Huh? Oh, Hawk. I haven't seen you since Mirren hired me for that red iron job. Been a while. Heard you're going on some expedition into the deep roads, and right into Darkspawn territory. Sure that's wise? It's a risk, but if we succeed, it'll be worth it. Just watch your back. That's all I'm saying. Say, you still in the market for some poisons? The red iron's been scarce. And business has been a little slow. You find any rare reagents and want me to whip you up something, just let me know. In fact, 
Since you're an old friend, here's a recipe. My speciality. Everyone needs an edge sometimes, right? I'm surprised you still travel with this, Aveline. Carver, don't. You're ever so busy with the guardsmen. It must be a burden to slum with the refugees. It's oddly comforting that you insult me like I'm family. That wasn't... no, I didn't mean that. I know, but you should be glad that's how I took it. Varric, do you do anything? Am I the next stop in your career evaluations? Joy of joys. You watch and you talk? Is that it? You are dismissing hallmarks of both the utterly ineffectual and the incredibly dangerous. I don't know what you mean. It means coins flow when I talk and when I shut up. Like if you got paid to guard or unguard. That makes no sense. Good. I'd rescue the Viscount's boy, but the Winters are after him. They'd sooner split your skull than a reward. I'd rescue the Viscount's boy, but the Winters are after him. They'd sooner split your skull than a reward. Quality armor. The rest outside of us. Every piece of equipment in the free marches begins here. Everyone in your t If you're seeking aid, leave your name with my girl. We serve everyone here. No one came from Ferelden without trouble. But I can't give priority to anyone who's already found work and lodging. I hear you know where I can find a Ferelden Grey Warden. Only Ferelden Grey Warden I've heard of is sitting on the throne. We're out of the Blight's path now. Why would you need a Warden? The healer was one of them once, wasn't he? A warden? Well, he's not now, and busy enough without answering fool questions about it.
Who are you protecting? You see what our people face in Kirkwall. They have no jobs, no homes. Most can barely buy bread. This healer, he serves them without thought for coin. He's closed their wounds, delivered their children. And yet he needs to hide. He's a good man. I won't lose him to the blighted Templars. You mean he's a mage? Would I stick my neck out for some purveyor of hensbane and leeches? Oh, perish the thought. Another delicate mage flower. He doesn't want to be locked in the gallows just for using the gifts the Maker gave him. Your healer is in no danger from me. Right. Perfectly safe if he cooperates. I suppose it isn't my secret to keep. Anders has certainly been free enough with his services. Refugees in Darktown know to find the healer, look for the lit lantern. If you have need enough, Anders will be within. Is there any flower? We've been out for a week. The children are eating sawdust. We heard you in there, asking about the healer. We know what happens to mages in this town. And it ain't gonna happen to him. You want him safe? Don't pick fights with other Ferelden's while the Templars are after us all. Ferelden? But you, your clothes. I figured you for a Kirkwaller, sorry. Make her bless the rule of our King Alistair. I'm here, right behind you.
so. What do you do, Aveline? <laughs> you know, I'm a guard. Why are you asking? I mean in your off-duty hours, for fun. You've heard of it, I hope. These are my off-duty hours. And the trend of you scaring the piss out of me continues. There'll be three down here. this place a sanctum of healing and salvation. Why do you threaten it? I'm just here to talk. We're interested in getting into the deep roads. The rumor has it you were a warden. Do you know a way? Did the Warden send you to bring me back? I'm not going. Those bastards made me get rid of my cat. Poor Sir Pounce a lot. He hated the Deep Roads. You had a cat named Sir Pounce a lot? In the Deep Roads? He was a gift. A noble beast. Almost got ripped in half by a Genlock once. He swatted the bugger on the nose. Drew blood, too. The Blighted Warden said he made me too soft. I had to give him to a friend in Amaranthine. So, you came to Kirkwall just to escape the Wardens? You say that like it's a small thing. Yes. I'm here because there's no Warden outpost, no Darkspawn, and a whole host of refugees to blend in with. And some reasons of my own. I've always heard that joining the Wardens is for life. That's only partly true. The hopelessly tainted by the Darkspawn and plagued by nightmares about the Archdemon parts don't go away. But it turns out if you hide well, you don't have to wear the uniform or go to the parties. I'm part of an expedition into the Deep Roads. Any information you have could save people's lives. I will die a happy man if I never think about the blighted deep roads again. You can't imagine what I've come through to get here. I'm not interested... Although... A favor for a favor. Does that sound like a fair deal? You help me, I'll help you. Help my expedition reach the deep roads. 
and I'll do whatever you need. You don't ask for my terms? What if I were asking for the Knight Commander's head on a spike? Is that what you ask? You decide. I have a Warden map of the depths in this area. But there's a price. I came to Kirkwall to aid a friend. A mage. A prisoner in the wretched gallows. The Templars learned of my plans to free him. Help me bring him safely past them, and you shall have your maps. What do the Templars know of your plans? I don't know. I had been exchanging notes with Carl through a maidservant in the gallows. Then the letters stopped coming. You want to make your friend an apostate? That's such a weighted term. Yes, Andraste said magic should serve man, not rule him. But I've yet to find a mage who wants to rule anything. It goes against no will of the Maker for mages to live as free as other men. Forcing mages into servitude is not the way to prevent the rise of another Imperium. That's not usually the response I get. Perhaps we will work together better than I expected. What do the Templars know of your plans? I don't know. I had been exchanging notes with Carl through a maidservant in the gallows. Then the letters stopped coming. I'm not sure about attacking Templars. I might rather take my chances with the Darkspawn. If we fight the Templars, it is because they decide that anyone who befriends a mage deserves death without questioning. Doesn't fighting them prove their point? They don't need more reasons to hunt us. These are my terms. If you want my aid with your expedition, meet me in Chantry tonight. I have sent word to Carl to be there. Make a willing, we will all leave free men. Carl won't be able to get away until it's dark. Meet me at the Chantry at nightfall. Where else can we go? So, Carver. Someone dropped off a message for you. It's on the desk. Not before he gave it a shake to see if there were coins inside. I, I was worried they would fall out. <sighs> Gamlin. I'm with you, brother. For now. I always wanted to bring your children back to meet your grandparents. Now, I wish we'd stayed in Ferelden.
Never a shortage of idiots who think they can take the streets in the dark. Good reward in getting rid of them. I saw Carl go inside a few minutes ago. No Templars so far. Are you ready? I didn't see anyone suspicious out here. Let's do this fast. All right. I'll handle the talking. You watch for Templars. When we find Carl, just let me talk to him. Anders, I know you too well. I knew you would never give up. What's wrong? Why are you talking like... I was too rebellious, like you. The Templars knew I had to be... made an example of. No! How else will mages ever master themselves? You'll understand, Anders. As soon as the Templars teach you to control yourself. This is the apostate. Take another mage as you took him!
I... Anders, what did you do? It's like... you brought a piece of the Fade into this world. I had already forgotten what that feels like. I thought the Tranquil were cut off from the Fade forever. When you're Tranquil, you never think on your life before. But... it's like the Fade itself is inside, Anders. Burning like a sun. Please, kill me before I forget again. I don't know how you brought it back, but it's fading. Carl, no. Maybe we can find a cure. Can you cure a beheading? The dreams of tranquil mages are severed. There is nothing left of them to fix. I would rather die a mage than live as a Templar puppet. Tranquil I've met seem content with their lot. Maybe it's not that bad. You have no idea. Your emotions, your dreams, everything stripped away on someone's whim. If I were made tranquil, I would wish for a friend compassionate enough to kill me. Carl, I'm sorry. Now, it's fading. Why do you look at me like that? Goodbye. <laughs> we should leave before more Templars come. That wasn't normal magic you just did, was it? I... This is hard to explain. When I was in Amaranthine, I met a spirit of justice who was trapped outside the Fade. We became friends, and he recognized the injustice that mages in Thedas face every day. And that's different than a demon? Just as demons prey on the deadly sins of mankind, there are good spirits who embody our virtues. Spirits of compassion, fortitude, justice. They are the Maker's first children. And they have all but given up on us. This spirit sounds like a useful friend to have. He was far better to me than I have been to him. To live outside the Fade, he needed a host. I offered to help him. We were going to work together, bring justice to every child ever ripped away from his mother to be sent to the Circle. But I guess I had too much anger. Once he was inside me, he changed. So you have this spirit of justice living in your head? It's not like that. He's gone now. He's part of me. It's not like we can have a conversation. I feel his thoughts as my own. Not even the greatest scholar could tell you where I end and he begins. This is obviously difficult for you. For him? We'll be hunted for sure now. I thought I was helping my friend. He would have died, I guess. If that even means anything. And he wanted to help me. He knew what mages have suffered. But my anger, when I see Templars now, things that have always outraged me, but I could never do anything about, he comes out. And he is no longer my friend Justice. 
He is a force of vengeance, and he has no grasp of mercy. So that explains your whole sexy, tortured look. Perhaps I should check a looking glass more often. I've rarely met a man who says such things so openly. But you're obviously a rare man. My maps are yours. As am I, if you wish me to join your expedition. I thought I was done with the Grey Warden. But if you have any need of me, I will be waiting here. I've always wondered, why is every surface dwarf a merchant or a smith? You left out criminals and hired muscle. They don't count. We dwarves are drawn to shiny objects. Sort of like magpies, but with business sense. You're kidding. Of course I am. We come to the surface with the skills our ancestors had, Blondie. You think there's a tradition of dwarf woodcutters in Orzammar? Beekeepers? Sailors? Well, there could be mushroom growers and nut wranglers. Orzammar will never let those people go topside. Too vital. Also, embarrassing. Vincento said someone might come sniffing around. You're looking for the boy, right? Feign something. I'll tell you now, there's not much I can do for you. Is it true you give aid to apostates fleeing the Templars? The mages are help. They're no more than children, newly discovered their magic and terrified. Barely left their mother's skirts, and now we're saying they got to be locked away for their own good. That demons are hunting them. Do you wonder they run? Is it true you give aid to apostates fleeing the Templars? The mages are help. They're no more than children, newly discovered their magic and terrified. Barely left their mother's skirts, and now we're saying they got to be locked away for their own good. That demons are hunting them. 
Do you wonder they run? I'm looking for a retired Templar named Samson. Uh, retired? Sounds better than burned out husk of a Templar begging coins in the choke dab. They don't do anything to keep you, you know. You join the Order, you're free to walk away. But they're the only ones who've got the dust. The dust? Lyrium, an ore the dwarves mine. Magic in its raw form. You need to drink the stuff to face down the magickers. Problem is, if you ever try to stop, oh, it just about kills you. Did you meet the boy? Afraid so. Blighter was dead broke, though. Not a silver on him. I help one mageling for free, and I'll never get paid again. I pity any mage who is forced to rely on you for protection. I appointed him to a ship captain I know, Rayner. Sometimes he'll take on runaways. Took another apostate last week, girl I sent him. Might have gone wrong, though. I heard rumors he took the both of them captive instead. Please tell me it's not too late to save him. Rumor has it, Rayner had the pair of them locked inside a Keys warehouse, somewhere close to Dockside. You want to go looking? You might find the lad before he gets ransomed to the Templars. Or worse. Are you answer? Ah! Sweet mother of Parth, you can't just run up on someone like that. Are you the one that mercenary told me about? The one looking for work? I used to work with the Red Iron, if that's what you mean. Yes, it is. What I mean, that is... My apologies, human. I haven't been on the surface very long. I keep thinking I'll fall up into that sky any minute. <laughs> Bartrand used to be like that. Got jumpy every time he stepped outside. I'd pay to see that. But I digress. I need some help. Rather badly, in fact. Some product of mine has been misplaced. The men who were supposed to deliver it decided not to. If you retrieve my property, I could reward you handsomely. Just what did these men steal? <laughs> did I say steal? I don't know if I would go that far. They seemed like perfectly reasonable smugglers. They smiled and everything. The goods are valuable, however, and illegal. And my client wants them very, very badly. <laughs> you know how these Templars can be. You're smuggling Lyrium to the Templars? Of course he is. That's just bloody great. By the Paragons? Not so loudly? My word. I'm not cut out for this. I should have taken that job sweeping staples like Mother insisted. I'll get it back for you. Must we? Oh, thank goodness. The gentlemen conduct their business at night in a little hovel within the alienage. If you have to kill them, then I guess it can't be avoided. But I'm sure they'll be reasonable. Thank <laughs> you.
You owe us, Isabella. Well, Lucky, I'll tell you what. Since the information you gave me was worth nothing, that's what I'll pay you. Me and my boys will get our money's worth, bitch. Oh, you poor sweet thing. Tell me, Lucky, is this worth dying for? I didn't think so. I don't make my guards fight gangs in dark corners, but if you'd like to help... Are you answer? Ah! Sweet mother of Partha, you can't just run up on someone like that. Are you the one that mercenary told me about? The one looking for work? I used to work with the Red Iron, if that's what you mean. Yes, it is. What I mean, that is... My apologies, human. I haven't been on the surface very long. I keep thinking I'll fall up into that sky any minute. <laughs> Bartrand used to be like that. Got jumpy every time he stepped outside. I'd pay to see that. But I digress. I need some help. Rather badly, in fact. Some product of mine has been misplaced. The men who were supposed to deliver it decided not to. If you retrieve my property, I could reward you handsomely. Just what did these men steal? <laughs> did I say steal? I don't know if I would go that far. They seemed like perfectly reasonable smugglers. They smiled and everything. The goods are valuable, however, and illegal. And my client wants them very, very badly. <laughs> you know how these Templars can be. You're smuggling Lyrium to the Templars? Of course he is. That's just bloody great. Shh! By the Paragons! Not so loudly! My word. I'm not cut out for this. I should have taken that job sweeping staples like Mother insisted. Make it worth my time, and I'll help you. Oh, I will. Or I'll try to. Practically a guarantee. The gentlemen conduct their business at night in a little hovel within the alienage. If you have to kill them, then I guess it can't be avoided. But I'm sure they'll be reasonable. I don't make my guards fight gangs and die.
Are you answering? Ah! Sweet mother of Parth. You can't just run up on someone like that. Are you the one that mercenary told me about? The one looking for work? I used to work with the Red Iron, if that's what you mean. Yes, it is. What I mean, that is... My apologies, human. I haven't been on the surface very long. I keep thinking I'll fall up into that sky any minute. <laughs> Bartrand used to be like that. Got jumpy every time he stepped outside. But I digress. I need some help. Rather badly, in fact. Some product of mine has been misplaced. The men who were supposed to deliver it decided not to. If you retrieve my property, I could reward you handsomely. Just what did these men steal? <laughs> did I say steal? I don't know if I would go that far. They seemed like perfectly reasonable smugglers. They smiled and everything. The goods are valuable, however, and illegal. And my client wants them very, very badly. <laughs> you know how these Templars can be. You're smuggling lyrium to the Templars. Maker's breath. Between the Chantry, the Carta, and the Coterie. Shh! By the Paragons! Not so loudly! My word. I'm not cut out for this. I should have taken that job sweeping staples like Mother insisted. Make it worth my time and I'll help you. Oh, I will. Or I'll try to. The gentlemen conduct their business at night in a little hovel within the alienage. If you have to kill them, then I guess it can't be avoided. But I'm sure they'll be reasonable.
do get results, don't you? Answer's goods are probably in that chest. It's empty. Waste of bloody time. Who put us into this? I guess we have no choice but to go back to Anzo and tell him. That's not the elf. Who is that? It doesn't matter. We were told to kill whoever enters the house. Serious mistake coming here. Lieutenant, I want everyone in the clearing now. Captain, your men are dead, and your trap has failed. I suggest running back to your master while you can. You're going nowhere, slave. <laughs> a slave. I apologize. When I asked Anso to provide a distraction for the hunters, I had no idea they'd be so numerous. I take it these men were looking for you? Correct. My name is Fenris. These men were Imperial bounty hunters, seeking to recover a Magister's lost property, namely myself. They were trying to lure me into the open. Crude as their methods were, I could not face them alone. Thankfully, and so chose wisely. If you couldn't fight them, why not just run? There comes a time when you must stop running, when you turn and face the tiger. If they were really trying to recapture you, then I'm happy I helped. I have met few in my travels who have sought anything more than personal gain. If I may ask, what was in the chest? The one they kept in the house? It was empty. I suppose it was too much to hope for. Even so, I had to know. You were expecting something else? I was, but I shouldn't have. It was bait, nothing more. You didn't need to lie to get my help. That remains to be seen.
It's as I thought. My former master accompanied them to the city. I know you have questions, but I must confront him before he flees. I will need your help. If it means fighting more slavers, I'll help you. I will find a way to repay you. I swear it. The Magister is staying at a mansion in Hightown. Meet me there as soon as you can. We must enter before morning. Bad people come out at night. It would be good to get rid of them. No one has left the mansion, but I've heard nothing within. Denarius may know we're here. I wouldn't put it past him. 
I could stand to know a little more about this Denarius. He is a Magister of the Tevinter Imperium. Oh, is that all? Nothing to worry about, then. There, he is a wealthy mage with great influence. Here, he is but a man who sweats like any other when death comes for him. He may have prepared some magical defenses. They will not keep me from him. Someone's left a surprise. Uh! Cannot stop us. We must keep looking.
I can't do that. Not likely. Think again. I don't think I can do that. That's not really my thing.
any longer. I assume Daenerys left valuables behind. Take them if you wish. I need some air. It never ends. I escaped a land of dark magic, only to have it hunt me at every turn. It is a plague burned into my flesh and my soul. And now I find myself in the company of yet another mage. I saw you casting spells inside. I should have realized sooner what you really were. Tell me then, what manner of mage are you? What is it that you seek? I'm just trying to get by. Yet I have seen many crimes done in the name of survival. Not all mages are alike, or I'd be the first to act. I imagine I appear ungrateful. If so, I apologize, for nothing could be further from the truth. I did not find Daenerys, but I still owe you a debt. Here is all the coin I have, as Anso promised. Should you find yourself in need of assistance, I would gladly render it. Your old master must want something more than just a runaway slave. He doesn't want me at all, just the markings on my skin. They are lyrium, burned into my flesh to provide the power that Daenerys required of his pet. And now, he wishes his precious investment returned, even if he must rip it from my corpse.
Seems like a waste of a perfectly handsome elf. <laughs> the truth is, I know nothing of the ritual that placed these markings on me. It was Daenerys's choice, one he now regrets. You've said Daenerys is a magister, but little else. In Tevinter, the magisters hold all the power. Over the Chantry, over the Imperial Court, over life itself. It is nothing for one to own a slave. Daenerys had many, but none he valued so much as me. I'm planning an expedition I might need help with. Fair enough. Should you ever have need of me, I will be here. If Daenerys wishes his mansion back, he is free to return and claim it. Beyond that, I am at your disposal. By all means, lead on. We should move on. We should move on. So, Elf, that uh, thing you do with your hand. I can already tell this isn't going anywhere pleasant. I bet that makes pickpocketing easier. I'll try it sometime and find out. I need to find my wife. Will no one in? You welcome, merchant. I'm not here to sell today, guardsman. My ship is late. Welcome. What do you mean you can't help me? This is a domestic matter, Sirrah. If your wife has chosen to leave you, there's nothing we can do. Ninette is my wife. She's legally bound to me. Bring her back. We're done here. <laughs> Useless. Why are we still paying those sluggards? Your wife is missing. I can try to find her if you like. Yes. Oh, I have been waiting for someone to say that. 
That foolish woman has caused me nothing but embarrassment. She needs to be dragged home. I can't imagine why she might run away. <sighs> yes, yes, my wife and I don't get along. But that's not the important thing. Her family is getting suspicious. They think I might have <clears throat> done something to her. Even if... Well, I just want to make sure they know I didn't do it. Do you think Nanette might be in trouble? It's her own doing. Gallivanting about with men of her age. She's just trying to show me I am tied to her purse strings. You're more concerned what her family thinks than what happened to her. Ninette keeps the company of other men, huh? And makes no secret of it. I'll be better off with her gone. <sighs> well, as long as her family knows I had nothing to do with it, they would ruin me otherwise. You don't care that Nanette might be hurt or dead. You sicken me. You have never lived with her. It wasn't always like this. We were in love once. She defied her parents to marry me. Sometimes, I wonder if I dreamed those years. Why would her family think you did something to her? They think I married her for her inheritance, and they know we have been fighting. They believe this is reason enough for me to hurt her, but I swear on Andraste's pyre, I have done nothing. How long has your wife been gone? About a month. I wasn't worried at first. She's run off before. Ninette is uncontrollable, you see. She comes and goes as she pleases. I'll try my best to find Ninette and bring her home. You should talk to Jethan at the Blooming Rose. I didn't know she visited whores until Jethan sent a letter. To our house! He even sent her flowers once. Lilies. Hmm? Her favorite. Ah! Talking about it makes my head hurt. Good luck to you, Sarah. Watch yourself. Have you seen him? Karen, was it? A lot of candles for the dead in there. Seems like a waste of wax. Should move on. Agrigio Pavali. There are six bottles in the cellar. Denarius used to have me pour it for his guests. My appearance intimidated them, he said, which he enjoyed. I can't imagine why they would be put off. You say what's on your mind, I'll give you that. It's good I can still take pleasure in the small things. You've had a difficult life. I'd rather not speak more of it. Are you certain? 
I'm willing to listen. <laughs> to my whining? Very charitable of you. I've wanted to leave my past behind me, but it won't stay there. Tell me, have you never wanted to return to Ferelden? I have no home left to return to. The blight is over. You could rebuild what you lost. Do you truly not want to? I have to admit, it's an attractive idea. But not now. I understand. Still, to have the option... must be gratifying. You've been on the run a long time, then. Three years now. Denarius has a way of finding me. Perhaps it is the markings. Whatever the means, it never takes him long to follow. This is the first time I've given him reason to pause. I suppose there are advantages in numbers. Haven't you sought help before? Hirelings, when I could steal the coin. Never anyone of substance. Until you. Denarius will not give up, however. I await his return. What if he does give up? What then? Then I go to him. I will not live with a wolf at my back. Sounds like the right idea to me. If it comes to that, I doubt it will. If you're looking to start a life, you could stay. I could see myself staying, for the right reasons. I should thank you again for helping me against the Hunters. Had I known Anso would find me a man so capable, I might have asked him to look sooner. Maybe I should be thanking Anso. Maybe you should. Perhaps I'll practice my flattery for your next visit. With any luck, I'll become better at it.
I wouldn't be caught dead in the rows. Interesting place. Madame Lucine runs the place for Harlan. Or with him. Or on him. It's a coterie thing. No loitering. I got it all figured out. There was no blight. And that's a fact, is it? Think about My. And here I thought the only men in this place were besotted fools who couldn't hoist the mainsail. You mean like the men you sent scrambling from the tavern? Exactly like them. Worthless twits. I'm Isabella. Previously Captain Isabella. Sadly, without my ship, the title rings a bit hollow. You're Ferelden, aren't you? You have that look about you. I was in Denerim not too long ago. You know, you might be just what I'm looking for to solve a little problem I have. I'm always ready to help. Someone from my past has been pestering me. I've arranged for a duel. If I win, he leaves me alone. But I don't trust him to play fair. I need someone to watch my back. Who's this person you've arranged to meet? His name is Hader. We worked together back in Antiva. He's never liked me. He's been asking about me all around Kirkwall. Thought I'd get it over with and meet him face to face. You wanted information from Lucky. What was it? I asked Lucky and his boys to track down something I lost. They failed to do it. It's nothing to worry about, and this is much more important. Why a duel? <laughs> I like duels. It's what I do. And if I win, he'll be dead. Problem solved. What makes you think I'm right for this? You saw me talking to Lucky, didn't you? Those boys couldn't manage simple information gathering. I can't trust the riffraff in this place to do anything right. But you, you're different. 
I think I could manage watching your back. <laughs> I'll bet. I've arranged to meet Hader in Hightown after dark. I'll meet you there. you are. I've been here for hours. Hader hasn't shown up. No one has. I don't like this. I don't like this? <laughs> That's right up there with what could possibly go wrong. That's the witch we're looking for. Got her. Hader sent them. Search the bodies. I need to find out where he is. Hiding in the Chantry and sending thugs to finish me off? Coward. He'll not get away with this. Come on. Isabella, should have known you'd find me here. Tell your men to burn the letters next time. Castillon was heartbroken when he heard about the shipwreck. You should have let him know you survived. It must have slipped my mind. <laughs> Where's the relic? I lost it. Castillon's just going to have to do without. Lost it? Just like you lost a ship full of valuable cargo? They weren't cargo, Hader. They were people. Those slaves were worth a hundred sovereigns a head. And you let them scurry off into the wilds. And now the relic's gone, too. Castillon won't be happy to hear that. I promise you. Will someone explain what's going on? Isabella's been a very bad girl. Ruined a perfect business deal, and then ran away. She didn't tell you. I told him enough. Really? Because it doesn't seem like it. I said I arranged for a duel, which I did. I also said you wouldn't play fair, which you didn't. We can talk later if you want. Right now we have other problems. You don't have to tell Castillon about Isabella. If I cross him, he'll have me killed. And my life is worth more than hers. There's only one way to settle this.
I was trying to talk him down. Trust me, it's better this way. Castillon won't hear about me from Hader, but he'll find me eventually. I just have to get him the relic. It's simple as that. Who is Castillon? He's a powerful merchant based in Antiva. I believe he has ties to the Felicissima Armada. I used to work for him. The jobs mostly involved smuggling lyrium, jewels, or the occasional criminal acquaintance. He paid well. You hired Lucky to track down information on the relic. That's right. He insisted he knew everything that was going on in Kirkwall. He lied. <laughs> I bet he doesn't even know everything going on in his pants. What's so interesting about the relic? I don't really know what it is, except that it's ancient and worth my weight in gold. Castion has me chasing it down as payback for freeing his slaves. <sighs> to be honest, I think he just wants me dead. But that would be letting me off easy. If getting the relic gets Castion off your back, then I'll help you retrieve it. I still don't know where it is, but you'll be the first to know if I hear anything. Anyway, thanks for helping me out with Hader. I think I'll tag along for a while. There might be something I could do for you. And I have a room at the Hanged Man if you're looking for company later. There's always pretenders out at night. Sometimes you have to correct them. Good coin in it, too.
Keep it down, dog. All that noisy dog breath, day in, day out, make him stop. He doesn't sweat like we do, and it's stuffy in here. You could open a window. <laughs> there, isn't that annoying? <laughs> ah, blight take you. Someone's always trying to claim the streets. If you make them safe to travel at night, someone will reward you. Is brooding a sport in Tevinter? Do they hold competitions, hand out trophies for the best scowls? I'm not brooding. Moping, then. You seem like you're a champion at it. I'm perfectly content at the moment. Oh, so that's you smiling. Hm. Glad you clarified that. I'd never have known. Today's my rest day, but I'll make an exception for you. What can I say? Why work if you're not working hard? Oh, I like him. He reminds me of someone. Can't imagine who. Jafan, have you seen Nanette lately? Nanette? Not for several weeks, which is a shame. I enjoy her company. I hear she finally left her worthless husband. Good for her. I just wish she'd said goodbye. Did she tell you she left her husband? No. I just hope that's what she did. Ghislaine only wants her for her family's wealth. Ninette's a jewel. Elegant, worldly, just the perfect level of depraved. Ghislaine doesn't deserve her. Do you think Ninette has come to harm? I hope not. Everyone loves Nanette. Sometimes twice a night. <laughs> Ghislaine's the only one who might hurt her, and he doesn't have the balls for it. Ghislaine knew about you and Nanette. Did he talk to you? The man is incapable of talking. He came here, yelled at me, called me a dirty knife ear, among other things, and accused me of corrupting his wife. We had him thrown out. Do you have any idea where she might be? Well, uh, there was someone else looking for Nanette. A Templar. I believe his name was Emmerich. He wouldn't sleep with me either. I can't see why a Templar would be interested in anyone who isn't a mage. Any chance Nanette's an apostate? Well, she certainly cast a spell on me. <laughs> Anyway, if Nanette was a mage, I think Emmerich would have said so. Perhaps Emmerich knows something we don't. Emmerich said he'd continue his investigation in Darktown. You could see if he's still there. 
And if you find Nanette, tell her to drop by and see me sometime. Back again? Sure you're not interested in my many, many services? I was just passing through. Have it your way. We should move on. Kirkwall Knights aren't safe. Always some group of thugs around. Someone will usually pay for their removal. 